Hello, my name is Piotr and welcome to Moment of Clarity. Today I would like to discuss with you new models released by Steam Forged Games that are both part of the recently announced two-player battle box for Signar and Kador. First one I would like to cover is a war jack, character warjack for Signar. It's Deuce, a Signar Hellslinger Kador heavy warjack. It costs 17 points and that means it's quite costly but it does a lot for its worth or at least that's what I think. <laughs> we'll see. Deuce has speed 6, mat 7, rat 7, that means he's quite accurate. Defense 13, well it's also not irrelevant, and armor 18. He has accumulator special ability with gun mages, and that means when once he is activating within 3 inches from a friendly gun mage model, he will receive a free focus point. Well, it's, it's yeah, quite cool. He also has Reposition 3 and True Sight. Finally, that's a model in Signar that has a reliable access to True Sight ability. I'm not speaking about Stormsmith Storm Colors, but about Warjacks. If it comes for his ranged weapon, he has Spellstorm Cannon. It's range 12, rate of fire 1, power 14, and magical weapon. He also has dual attack and, and pistol ability. He has three special attacks, special type of attacks, that he can use while attacking with this weapon. He has beatback, blast and deck reputation. Beatback means you can push your target one inch away and then advance one inch directly toward, but it's not obligatory. Blast ability, it makes the weapon just blast ability. Uh, area of effect 2, power 12, power 6, blast. And deck reputation, that's something really interesting. Uh, it will gain an additional die on damage rolls against construct and undead models. That means any Warjack or any Undead model will be in serious trouble. And I cannot wait to use this uh, model against a Dusk, for example, where there are a lot of Constructs and a lot of uh, Undead models as well. Dreadcourt Cavalry, for example, the Undead models. It's going to be great. <laughs> he has also a powerful attack, so you spend one focus and you boost hit and damage roll for just one focus point. And reload one, so you can... Uh, use one focus to shoot again. If it comes for his uh, melee option, he has Crescent Blade. It's just range 1 and power 15, open fist magical and buckler, so it makes him armor effectively armor 19. What I really like about this, uh, this Warjack is that it can deal a lot of damage to, to construct and undead models. And in combination with, for example, Kane, that gives him Calamity and feet will make him a real danger for enemy warjacks. I cannot wait to use him in many builds, but the first ones that come to my mind is obviously Kane from two player box with Calamity and his feet, and probably a yes, snipe. He'll be a great damage dealer. Apart from that, I think he'll be great with warcasters and junior warcasters with open fire, as he can use the abilities on his weapon outside of his activation, so that might be great. And as well, Wolf, that will uh, benefit fit a lot from his ability to have additional die uh, to damage against construct models uh, during uh, opponent's turn on Wolf's feet. So we'll see how it will go. It's quite expensive Warjack. 17 points is the same price range as uh, General is, but in my opinion he can deal quite a lot of damage combined with uh, other abilities. So yeah, let me know what you think about uh, Deuce. He seems to be a something new, something fresh, especially the True Sight and uh, the decapitation. Uh, he'll be able to boost all of his attacks and damage rolls on both of his ranged attacks, so that's great. So yeah, let me down, know down below in the comments what you think and let's get uh, to the other Warjack. The second Warjack released by Steamforge Games in the, the upcoming two-player box is Razor. It's a Kader, SK6 Kader heavy warjack uh, and it's even more expensive than, uh, than Deuce. It costs 18 points and that's, yeah, that's quite a lot. So yeah, let's, let's get through, through his card. Apart from the standard icons, he is immune to fire and uh, corrosion. It has also Pathfinder and dual attack. If it comes for his base stat line, his speed 5, Mat 7, Rot 6, Defense 11, and Armor 19. With Shield, it's Arm 21. It has Anchor special ability, that means um, any model that is base to base contact with, uh, with Razor cannot get knocked down. It has Reposition 3, that might come relevant a little bit later. And it also has Swift Hunter, so it can move after destroying one or more enemy models with a range attack. If it comes for his ranged weapons, he has two grenade launchers, range 10, Area of Effect 2, Power 10 and 5 Power on Blast. 
It has arcing fire, so ignore intervening models when declaring the target. And uh, targeting flare, so instead of making an attack, you just uh, place a 3 inch template anywhere within 10 inches, completely within 10 inches from your model, with a center point in your model's line of sight. You ignore intervening models, but you do not ignore cloud effects. So any model that is within the template loses stealth, and your models can ignore cloud effects when determining line of sight to it. So it's a little bit counterintuitive. You ignore stealth, you ignore cloud effects, but you cannot put the, the template behind a cloud. You would need to be within the cloud and then move with reposition <laughs> backwards. Uh, the second attack, the second weapon is Slug Cannon. It's range 8, rate of fire 1, and power 16. And what's important, it has momentum, special rule. So you uh, slam small or medium based models and you knock down uh, the large base models. Uh, it has also siege weapon. So you gain an additional die to its damage rolls against buildings and huge base models. So if you will be great in dealing with um, colossals, for example, or gargantuans or battle engines or whatever is placed on a huge base. And it has also reload one as well as Deuce has. So yeah, that's, that's a really powerful cannon, but it has only range eight. So that's not a lot. Obviously you have uh, reposition 3, but it doesn't mean that much, I think. If it comes for his melee weapon, it has Reaper Shield uh, with uh, Reach 1 and Power 18. So that's really powerful shield there. It has Critical Shred. So on a critical hit, you will get an additional attack, as all the soul-based weapons have in Cater, I think. And it also has Beatback, so you can push your enemy model a little bit away and then advance one inch up to one inch directly towards. So uh, yeah, it seems it's quite interesting, especially with the siege weapon on his slug gun. But I don't know, 18 points, that's quite a lot for a model, yeah, with armor 21. Uh, but still, it's 18 points. And I think for 18 points, there are many other interesting options. So what do you think? Where would you find a use for, for Razor? Under which Warcaster would like to test him first? That's, uh, that's a good question and I would like to hear what you have to say. Let me know down below in the comments. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, there was a missed opportunity. I should have uh, changed the color of my background to red while discussing <laughs> Razer. So yeah, let me know what you think about this uh, format of, of the video. It's something new to me. I would like to create some more uh, of my content of this type. So I'd appreciate your feedback. So once again, thank you and see you in the next video. Cheers.